internet historian's documentation of the He Will Not Divide Us incident, you could say, has a, a breaking point in it. And what I mean by that is there's a video removed from YouTube. There was some suspect stuff that went down and the video got removed because the internet historian was just once again telling it like it was and wasn't good. Okay. <laughs> so... As like sad YouTube as, yeah, well, he had to remove it from YouTube, I okay. believe. I don't know all the details, but you can tell us in the comment section. I'll be glad to learn from internet historian as well as the people that watch these videos. Um, but number three is available to us, and that is capture the flag. He will not divide us. That's number three. So essentially what has happened is this movement has been moved okay. and moved and now moving again to avoid the trolls who have said, no, we will troll this out of existence. And the that's games continue. <laughs> that, that's okay. where we're at. So I will leave it up to Internet Historian to, to fill you in on, on the rest. Okay. So uh, this is He Will Not Divide Us, Capture the Flag. Is this the last one? No. Okay. Has changed. It's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. Milk? Nanomachines inside their bodies enhance and regulate their ability. After defeat on the battlefields of New York and New Mexico, Shire headed to a new hidden location. No more chanting or interaction. This latest exhibit would just be a flag waving arrogantly in front of a camera. There were no landmarks, no scenery, no clues at all to its whereabouts. It would be impossible to find, and nothing could stop the broadcast. Check mate. And this would allow Shire to act smug for the next four to eight years. That is, unless Pol's agents could find a way to track it down. Challenge accepted. It was to be the greatest game of Capture the Flag ever. Pol began organizing. They set about gathering all the information they could on the local environment, trying to match up cloud, wind patterns, and ambient noise. Because it was a live stream, they could match the time of sunset to quickly discern that the flag was somewhere in the eastern time zone. That's two-thirds of the country ruled out in one move. Others began looking into intel about Shire's whereabouts, as it was highly likely that he was present for the raising of the flag itself. As time went on, distinct noises could be heard in the background, the croaking of frogs, suggesting water nearby. Then, the second on their break, hands. in the distance, <laughs> just faintly, two jet streams. Pol quickly opened a live feed of all of the air traffic oh across the eastern God. seaboard. But identifying these two lines, <laughs> amongst all of this, would be a challenge. Meanwhile, social media trackers found this post. At a small town diner in Tennessee, this waitress couldn't help but brag about her run-in with Shire. It was another big break. TMZ also reported that Shire had been seen fly fishing in the area. The search was closing in on Greenville, Tennessee. The hunt was moving it. much faster. Like, I just need a minute because I, <laughs> you've you've told me like years ago. You told me about this, and I was like, there's no way, because Greenville is, like, not far 15, from us. 15, 20 minutes? No, maybe no, 35. No, it's, like, 40 minutes. Think? Okay, I can't count. Don't come for us. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, like, super close, and I kept thinking, like, there's that's not true. Like, yeah, Why would true. he be here? What reasons? I, I don't know the answer to that, but he was. Anyway. Anyway. I'm sorry. But some waitress in Greenville was paramount in toppling this entire situation. I feel like if you were in that situation, it would be like, hey, can I take a picture with you? And he says, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you still kind of need to be like, it, would it be okay for me to post this? Would you rather me wait? Oh, hell no. You're talking about way too... Yeah, but you're, you know, obviously different than most people. So... Because, like, yeah. if I was him, I wouldn't want, like, everybody in town to be like... Oh my god! Oh my god, go. he's here! Yeah, like just let me kind of right. go fly fish and well, do my thing. Anyway, that's how it turned all right. out. Here we go. Oh, do you thanks, know? waitress. 
Do you know what year this is? I have no clue, were but maybe they can Greenville? let us know in the comment section. <laughs> no, we were not in Greenville. Okay. No. According to the aviation team, two more planes would soon be flying overhead. If they could be spotted on the live stream, Paul would have confirmation. Bingo. To further narrow down the search area, the aviation team started charting all of the flight paths of spotted planes. But they still needed more information, and as day turned to night, they got it. Pole's astronomy division used the constellations to narrow down the angle and rough position of the camera. Ow. With this, the flight paths, and some advanced trigonometry, the candidate area had been reduced way down. Further confirmation from weather satellites backed up the claim as an agent was dispatched to the scene. As he drew close, he started honking the horn, while viewers of the live stream gave feedback as it got louder. A few minutes later, target sighted. But he couldn't just head in during broad daylight and risk Shire's wrath. Instead, he had to wait for the cloak of night. I don't think he's going to be sitting there watching it. Paul I mean, got to work know. devising an infiltration <laughs> strategy. A few hours later, the flag came down, and a MAGA hat and shirt went up. It was a beautiful moment, and it all took place on the live stream. Pol's Central Intelligence Agency had clocked Windu Season 3 in 38 hours and 14 minutes, and poor Shire was divided for a third time. Could he ever recover? Oh my fucking god, did you see the sun, baby? Could this baby? be the end? Yep. Well, Let's as hope. I was editing this video, there has been an update. The stream has gone down and the MAGA hat and shirt with it, but Intel indicates that the flag will be up again soon. A drone was flown over the area, and you can see here that Shire is keeping guard of the flagless pole. In response, Operation Eagle Eye is on standby. The drone carries a sophisticated device. You can see here a MAGA hat, oh Confederate God. flag, and bucket. To find out what will happen next, Stay tuned for season four. That was the most epic game of Capture the Flag ever. It's not over. What do you mean it's not? It's not over on the next one. It continues. I mean, like, but it's over, like, now. I don't know. Trump's still in office. It could very well be a thing in some form or fashion, but we will find out. We don't out. know about it, though. Like, it's not an ongoing, like, I don't, this is a website you can go to to see the flag somewhere I, else, I, right? I don't know. Not that I know of. It very well could be. But I do know that things heat up, things get more intense, and this is not over. There's another video. See, that's the last that I know of. You told no, me about... No, it gets way more epic. There's more... Um, more capture the flag to be had we will watch that video very soon um so what was the most like impressive crazy logistical think, aspect of this whole thing i think for like you? the traffic patterns or or when they the were air like, traffic yeah yeah like because there's so much that to me was the thing that stood out is and like i don't understand astrology at all so the fact that they were able and like the wind patterns like the way sense. that the flag was flapping and stuff that's like that's crazy that's crazy and they were like oh well we hear frogs and to find out what what kind of frogs or whatever in the area Did you could i guess out? i don't know but i'm saying like that could be a way you could be oh these frogs said, are here no they said there's frogs so there's a body of water close by oh okay yeah, yeah. and so there was a guy who was a part of this that lived in the area that went around blowing his horn so and they I'm could... And I'm just like, who <laughs> from here? I don't even... I mean, you would be surprised. I would be. Yeah. I am, currently. You would be majorly surprised. Currently. But um, the whole thing to me was just mind-numbingly crazy and so impressive. <laughs> but to the I point... I want to know, like, why he picked... Essentially, here, he was just um, like... Yeah, nobody's know. ever going to find this place. This was around his rat tail days, I believe. So he would fit in with, 
nobody would know. Like we'd go yeah. get gas or something. At the the gas mullet station. has made a major comeback in our area. It so. really has. Like I follow um, some hair salons. Yeah. And I see a mullet on my Instagram feed several times a week. You're welcome. <laughs> so bad. But anyway. Uh, yeah, Shia being in our neck of the woods, quite literally. Crazy. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. Until you know that he's trying to hide a flag from a bunch There's of internet trolls. There's only one kind of celebrity that you can find where we are. Who? And I saw him when we went to Kroger. Oh, Chris Crocker. Chris Crocker. Yeah, Nikki's in love with Chris but, Crocker. You but, know the, leave Brittany alone. Uh, she, she he's he's hilarious. His impressions are very funny. But anyway, yeah. that's the only person that I feel like I've ever seen here well shy is like a he, I know. huge celebrity he's been in so many movies that have just been and growing up epic, like we so. watched him. oh yeah and then we just watched peanut butter falcon which was great was so good jake the snake roberts like the man in that video and mick foley right mick foley, he, in it? he was the referee um so yeah check that movie out it's, it's really great good. um yeah i'm looking forward to you seeing how this progresses and the craziness that ensues. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just like... It's impressive, but that I You just, can't deny the impressive nature of what they're doing. time? Like, is this what I don't they hardly do? have any time to play new video games or, like, do stuff that I is really want to do. Is this, like, what do. they do? Is this, like, their thing? They could be, like, air traffic control people and, like, actual astrology people and astrologist i bet you that's what you call those astrology people (laughs) but like yeah they have to be experts or at least super passionate about these things or they could just be super passionate about getting on people's nerves you could always pay someone for a service like here's a picture figure it out for me yeah i i I, it's beyond me i don't so you know to the people that are able to do that I'm I'm impressed, but um, but also don't do that. <laughs> please don't, please don't mess with 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 good people, nice people. But yeah. uh, the assholes deserve it, and I I just feel like kind of with the whole campaign of what he was doing, he was asking for it. I still stand by that. But Sadly. what do you guys think? How do you feel about it? Was he asking for it? Uh, are you just as impressed with these wild people as we I are? Feel like at first he. He maybe was like a little bit, but when he kept like being like, "Oh, well, you can't get it now." Then he's like, then, "Come on." Exactly. Then it kind of like you're like, "Can you outsmart <sighs> me?" and yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At that point, I kind of I kind of get it like it would be kind of fun and like whatever, but like, you know, just let people deal with things how mm. they want to deal with it and he's a very expressive character. He's pretty eccentric. And yeah. like just just let him do his thing. You don't have to... I don't know. I don't no, know. No, they were just like, fuck his thing. Yeah. You know? From <laughs> like, day one, they we're were like, terminate his this is going to be really fun. Yeah. So. Which is... It's just all hilarious to me. I, like I think that the extremists from all different forms of, of trolling are... Yeah. The, the troll extremists are really funny. But, um, yeah, I think that's going to do it for us. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as we did, and I hope you will check out some of our other videos. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. If you got anything to say, drop it down in the comment section. We'll probably reply or see it or say something or do whatever, and we enjoy making these videos for you. So until the next one, y'all take it easy. You made it to the end. That's awesome. If you've enjoyed the video, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be putting out some more gameplay footage, tons of reactions. I'm going to make some retro, like, nostalgic videos. Just having fun with this channel and trying to put out content that I hope you all enjoy and that I like to make. So uh, go ahead and hit subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.